So we've just learned that the former president has posted that $175 million bond in the New York civil fraud case back here with the team. Um, wh what do we know about this? Yes, yeah, so this bond just hit the docket. It's underwritten by Knight Specialty Insurance Company. It's a California-based insurer. It's for the total amount, the $175 million. Which had been knocked down from the higher amount initially. Right. Initially, he was supposed to post the bond at $464 million. He asked for a reduction or not to have to post it at all. The appeals court said that he could post $175 which is less than half, and he had until Thursday to do it. So he's done it today, um, signed it today. So this is now posted. That is satisfied. So it means that the New York Attorney General's office is not going to move forward to try to seize any of Trump's assets. All right, y'all, we are back with another video, and we got some breaking news. Like I said before, we know everything that Donald Trump has been going through with this corrupt Attorney General Letitia James and that crooked judge who tried to make Donald Trump pay a half a billion dollars just to appeal was just freaking crazy. That's the reason why you see people don't want to do business in New York. You seen Kevin O'Leary speak out on it. You even heard a lot of people that don't like Donald Trump was even saying, hey, I don't like Donald Trump, but this right here is wrong because it could be done to me. It was all type of people calling Letitia James them out. And what did Letitia James do? Her, some of these people on the left, the view, Whoopi Goldberg, them talking about, they can't wait till she start putting chains around the man's property, taking pictures, posting it online. That right there was just crazy. For people to even think like that, think you can just take people's stuff. But we're going to get straight right here into this article where Donald Trump just posted the bond. So, Let's go ahead and dive straight into this, art, this uh, article. Make sure y'all please hit that like button so more people can see this and see how corrupt Letitia James is. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight to this article. And like I said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button too. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with everything that's going on, all right? So let's dive straight into it. Y'all can see right here the head of the uh, article. Donald Trump posts a $175 million bond in his New York civil fraud case. There we go right there. Let's go and scroll down. Former President Donald Trump and his co-defendants have secured a $175 million bond in their New York civil fraud case on Monday, according to a court filing. Trump secured the bond through Knight Specialty, Speciality Insurance Company. Last Monday, a panel of judges from New York's appellate division granted the former president, his adult sons, and the two former Trump organization executives a 10-day stay of the $464 million judgment in the civil fraud case and permitted them to a, post a reduced bond of $175 million, which I've said this plenty of times, $175 million is still a lot of money. Don't get it wrong, but at least he didn't have to pay the the 400 and some million, you know what I'm saying? So 175 million, that, that still is ridiculous. I'm not going to lie, but it is better than trying to come up with a half a billion dollars. And you know what I'm saying? He couldn't get the money for that. I mean, come on now. That's a half a billion dollars. Who going to give you that? So let's go ahead and dive straight to the next one. We say Trump's lawyers had argued that the former president lacked the cash to secure a bond for the full judgment after being rejected by more than 30 bond companies. Without intervention from an appeals court, defense lawyers argued that Trump would suffer irreparable harm by having to sell off his namesake properties before he exhausted his appeal of the fraud ruling. In February, following a three-month trial, Judge Arthur N. Gorham fined Trump and his co-defendants after finding that they had engaged in a decade of business fraud by falsely inflating the former president's network to get better loans and business deals. You know what the problem that is? Why uh, Letitia James ain't going after John Stewart? Why she ain't talking about John Stewart? Did they say he just, he sold a penthouse or something like that for seventeen million when it was only worth like one million? Why she ain't going after John Stewart? You talking about somebody inflating their properties? Have y'all heard Letitia James say anything about John Stewart right now? Who did that? You know why? Because probably because he on he on their side, and she ain't gonna do nothing about it because she just don't like Donald Trump. See, this is the crap that we be calling out right here. They don't keep it down the middle. You go after one man because you don't like him. Talking about a Mar uh, Mar Lago worth what seventeen million, eighteen million? Are you crazy? Like, that is just crazy. How are you going to say he's, uh, that Donald Trump been doing this forever, inflating his... How are you going to say that? 
He didn't owe anybody any money. You heard what the business, uh, the bank said. Who did he owe any money to? Who did he fraud? They're like, who? It was nobody. Nobody came out and said that Donald Trump owed them. But what did Letitia James do? Putting a bug in that crooked judge's ear for him to try to do what she want him to do. And it's just crazy. They need to be sanctioned. They both need to be gone for this ridiculous crap that they did to Donald Trump and still trying to do to him. So let's get back to it. The frauds find here leap off the page and shock the uh, co-science, the conscience, and go around rope. Trump has denied all wrongdoing and his lawyers have appealed the ruling in the case, arguing that the disgorgement amount was unconstitutional, disproportionate, and flawed, which it was. That is just ridiculous to try to make somebody pay a half a billion dollars just to appeal. That lets you know they just wanted to take Trump properties. They know that. Make Letitia James come up with a half a billion dollar uh, bond. Let's see, can she pay it? I bet she couldn't do it. But they'll try to put it on Donald Trump. Don't nobody have a billion dollar just laying around at their house or a billion dollar they can just go to the bank and just grab out of there. But this is what they tried to do to take down Donald Trump. But like I said, this crap is not going to work. Letitia James needs to just step down. She needs to be disbarred. She needs to be gone. And especially after this. Say that defense lawyers argue that Judge Ngoron misapplied the statute of limitation for Trump's conduct and that New York Attorney General Letitia James failed to prove Trump's misrepresentations were relevant to the former president lenders. There is no evidence and no finding by Supreme Court that the relevant lenders and insurance would not have given defendants loans and policies on the same terms in the absence of the substance misrepresentation, defense lawyers said in a March filing. Because like I said, they just wanted to go after Donald Trump. That was just a whole thing. Let's just go after Donald Trump. Let's stop him. Let's try to take all of his campaign money. Because you got to remember, Donald Trump had the money. He didn't have the money to just give them. The money that he had was for his campaign. So he can keep putting it to his campaign to become president, but they tried to take that money and make him use all of that campaign money just to post a bun. I'm telling you, as it get closer and closer to election, they going to keep trying everything they can to stop Donald Trump, but it's not going to work. It's not going to work because the more that they attack Donald Trump, all you're doing is helping him out in the polls. Every single time. That's exactly what you're doing. You're just helping him out in the polls the more you attack him. So, like I said, I'm calling for it now. Letitia James needs to be disbarred. This woman needs to be gone. I mean, her attitude is just, it's just ridiculous. All that smiling in the courtroom crap because she knows that she got a crooked judge on her side that goes along with everything she say and, and everything she wants to do to Donald Trump. It's just crazy. So, let's get down to the last part. If their, if their appeal fails, the former president and his co-defendants will be on the hook for the entire $464 million judgment. If Trump does, have, uh, does not have the cash to cover the full of judgment and his appeal is unsuccessful, James could enforce the judgment by seizing Trump's assets. If he does not have funds to pay off the judgment, then we will seek judgment enforcement mechanisms in court and we will ask the judge to seize his assets. James told ABC News in February we are prepared to make sure that the judgment is paid to New Yorkers. This woman is ridiculous. But th that's the end of the article right there. I had to bring y'all this, but at least he did post a bond and it did get reduced because, like I said, half a billion dollars is just way too, too much money for somebody to just be posting just to appeal. Th that's the main part, just to appeal. That is just crazy. So, and, and I did go on record because a lot of people like, hey, dog, well, 170 something million is still a lot of money. Yes, it is. It's still a whole lot of money, but it is better than $454 million. So, at least they did slice it, but they, he shouldn't have to pay nothing. So, I don't see how Donald Trump can lose this. How can he lose this? It, nobody, nobody came forward and said that he owed them anything. He don't owe anybody. No banks. They they still say they they willing to do business with him. There's no people, no actors, no nobody came forward and said that Donald Trump owes me. Nobody. And she talking about she just going to take his money and pay it to New Yorkers. They got all this stuff going on in New York right now. All these crimes, people getting hurt, 
carjackers. I mean, just all type of stuff. But you got Letitia James just sitting in there worried about Donald Trump when she can be out trying to uh, go along with what's going on in New York right now with all these people hurting each other. She can be trying to pay more attention to that the same way Fannie Willis is paying more attention to Donald Trump. But she ain't worried about what's going on in the streets. That's what she needs to be paying attention to. But yet, all they focus is on Donald Trump and trying to stop this man from becoming president. But like I said before, it's not going to work. But this is the breaking news. Let y'all know that Donald Trump did post a bun today. So we shall see exactly what's going to happen after that. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. All right.